Boda. Oh my god. Boda. <laughs> we don't know who is the culprit. <laughs> Once I remove the virus, I'll watch what your computer will run faster. You have been invaded by Boda. <laughs> hey guys, Boda here. And Elma here too. Yes. Thank you for coming to Friday Night Premiere. Tonight we have a number of calls, most of them from the Social Security Administration. Especially for your enjoyment. We also had Michael in today to do a call. He is such a darling. Isn't he? Sit back and relax because we're going to mess with some scammers. Oh, wait a minute, Boda. I I ordered some pizza. You did? Yes, and enough for everyone. Well, I hope. I ordered it about 45 minutes ago. It should have been here by now. Well, give them a call. Yes, yes, I should do that. One second, folks. Thanks for calling customer support. Yes, you are talking uh, to Max. How may I help you? Hey, Max. Yes, sir. Um, I, I have a little issue here. I called about uh, 45 minutes ago now. Uh, it's been quite a while. Uh, mm-hmm. And I, I'm the one that ordered. I had uh, 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 two large uh, beef pizzas. Uh, uh, and there was an order of onion rings as well. But uh, uh, 45 minutes, it's, it's a, a rather long time to wait. Don't, don't you think so? 45 minutes? Hello? Like you called us previously? Uh, yes, yes. I, I called you about 45 minutes ago, and I, I, I put in my order, but I, I, I don't know if it has it even been started yet. This is, this is Elma Fisher. You might have seen my, my number from uh, on, on the phone there. If you, that's the number I would have placed the order on. Okay, uh, what's the order? I mean, if you if you don't if you don't have it if you don't have my order there, would you be able to take it again? Mm-hmm. Tell me your order, ma'am. Uh, okay, I, I want uh, two uh, large beef pizzas, an, a medium order of onion rings, and two cokes, please. It's going to Fifty Edgewood Avenue in Bluefield. You do service Bluefield, correct? Hello. Those little dipshits, can you believe that, Boda? What was that? They just hung up on me. I'm calling them back. Thank you for calling. This is David. How may I help you? I don't know uh, what's going on here, but I just called and I, uh, I, I reconfirmed my order with the gentleman and then he hung up on me. I don't think this is very professional. I'm I've waited 45 that. minutes. I really? waited 45 minutes, and, and I had to replace my order, and then the gentleman hung up on me. I'm really sorry for that, miss. Can you tell me what uh, exactly the issue is so that I can help you out? Well, I, I, I think first we should deal with uh, uh, the last individual that I was speaking with, because uh, uh, he didn't uh, uh, deal with me very professionally. And I think that uh, uh, he should uh, either, uh, have uh, consequences uh, or he should uh, some, or apologize to me. Because I, I, don't, I don't think if that... you uh, have his employee ID name. That's oh, right. Goodness, no, I did not. Do you not, have his uh, name? I did not take his name, goodness. Oh. I would not. It was the gentleman that just answered the phone uh, uh, 30 seconds ago. I mean, you can only okay. have one, one phone in the I'm kitchen. not sure because... Uh, I made my order. Uh, I made my order 45 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have my order for Elma Fisher? It's going to 50 Edgewood Avenue. Uh, Hello? All right. Can I have the email through which you made the payment, miss? Uh, through the payment? Uh, well, I, I didn't make a payment through the email. No, no. Uh, like you have an email, right? No, it would of be the through, account uh, through of PayPal, credit card. Right? The email. Mm-hmm. No, it would be through credit card. Yeah, through your credit card, but from your account, right? How you made the order, can you tell me? Well, I was planning on, uh, I mean, do you do uh, like online um, orders? Because I, I can go online and make uh, make the purchase that way. Uh, I don't know what right. you mean. I, I so was, I was, gonna, account, I was right? planning on, I was planning on uh, just doing it uh, at the door and uh, being able to pay with the credit card. Okay, no problem. I'll look into it. We are Can getting uh, quite email? hungry here. <laughs> okay. Yes, well, it's Elma at uh, yeah. Outlook dot com. I mean, it, it's not not that big of an order. I mean, it, it is. It's not uh, quite a uh, supper mm-hmm. time, but I mean, uh, it's not that big of an order to to fill. I don't yeah. think. That's right. That's okay, exactly. miss. Do you, have you received the confirmation have when you, you made the order? The confirmation or the order number? Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't. Re- I, I was calling up to try to confirm it because it was forty-five minutes ago, and, and and I mean, if you order from anywhere else, you can get it in a half hour, or it's free. Right, miss. That's right. Yes. So the payment is I mean, already do, do taken serve, out. Do you serve, so you can do you serve I, Coca-Cola or do you have Pepsi there? 
Uh, you both. Sorry? So which one do you have? Do you, you have, do you have co- yeah, no, do you have like Coca-Cola a, or do you have Pepsi? Uh, we have Coca-Cola. You have Coca-Cola? Oh, okay, yeah, it'll be two Cokes then with it. Two Cokes. Two Cokes, yeah. Do you just have the cans or do you have the, the bottles as well? Yeah. All right. Do you have cans or bottles? Two cans in the bottle, okay. Do you have, no, do you have cans or do you have both? Do you have a, both a cans and bottles? Yeah, we have both. Right? Yeah, we have both. Uh, then I will go with uh, two bottles then, I guess. Are, are they much more expensive? Or? Two bottles. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and uh, a large pizza. That's that. Uh, those are eighteen inch, correct? Yes, right. All right. So it's two two beef pizzas, two large beef pizzas, a, a medium onion rings, and two cokes. Mm-hmm. I mean, this okay. is like the third time I put this order in. I don't understand why it's why, why it's so com- complicated. I mean, is, is is it too early there for for this type of order? I mean, I phoned you before, and you were here here within uh, twenty five minutes. All right. Let me check it, nice. And it is through your PayPal you are doing it, miss? Your PayPal, making the order? Well, I would like to, I was w- wanting to, to pay at the door when it, res- when it, when it got here. Mm-hmm. Then it is through PayPal, miss, because you're calling to PayPal support. I thought, like, uh, you want to make the payments or might be you have a refund for the order PayPal that you have support. made. What, what do you mean? Right. It's like uh, you have, you need to make the payment online, Miss. Okay. Is it this? Uh, this is like Jesse's we have pizza. To send your link. Mm-hmm. Isn't this Jesse's pizza? Yeah. I'm calling yes, Jesse's pizza right now. Correct. Yes, Miss. Yes. All right. Well, what do you mean about give PayPal? Me then? Uh, give me a minute. Okay, just be on the line. Okay. All right. I'll yes. Check You're it. Okay. Just give me two minutes. Thank you. I need to find a different. Thank pizza. you for holding line, Miss. I really appreciate yes. your time and patience. Are you there? Yes. Uh, are you the manager? Okay. So you made the. Yeah, I'm the floor manager here, Miss. You're the floor at, at Jesse's, all right, yes. Well, I, I made an order half an uh, uh, 45 minutes ago, and I, I just placed it a third time. Okay. I just want a pizza. That's uh, that's all we okay. want here. So you made this transaction from your PayPal or from where? I ordered a pizza, two pizza, two large pizzas, and a medium onion mm-hmm. rings, and two Cokes from you mm-hmm. 45 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm still waiting like for it. Like, most your call is... No, right now your call is connect in PayPal server. We are from PayPal, PayPal not from what your, do you like, PayPal? A domino. Yeah, we are... It's supposed to be Jesse's Pizza. This is pizza. a PayPal application. Did the you use any uh, PayPal? The individual said it was Jesse's Pizza. PayPal application? Oh my no, God. I don't know like anything about PayPal. Store. This is what a is PayPal? PayPal? What is PayPal? I don't know what that is. I'm looking for my beef pizza. Where's my beef pizza? No, no, no. This is a pay- Do you use... No, 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 no. Uh, I like, want my beef pizza. Do you know what pizza. is a cash app? Do you know, do you know what a beef pizza we is? We are not from pizza store. We are but from you're PayPal. You're supposed to be Jesse's you want pizza. Service from your PayPal? Why are you answering Jesse's pizza's phone that... number? Why are you over at Jesse's pizza? Hold on, hold on. First, listen to Have me, okay? Have you taken over Jesse's pizza? I think you pizza? dialed the wrong number. No, no, no. I think you you, you, you have wrong the wrong number. phone. Just check the number and call again. You picked again. up the wrong no, phone. No, no. You know with whom you, you are talking right now today. and who I am? Do you know who you're talking? Do you know who I am? You know with whom? I don't want to know who are you, but you know <laughs> you, you need to oh, no. know who I am, right? But do you, know, you call it. do you know who you are? Have you found yourself yet? First of all, let's check the number and dial again, okay? To know ourselves. You do know that, dear, don't you? I'm going to take your order from my address, want, okay? I'm going to change the address. You're gonna, and, and then going you're going to eat my like beef pizza, are you? All these, yeah, like I'm the beef going pizza. to eat your pizza. Yes, eat my yeah, beef exactly. pizza, Yeah, exactly. I'm going to eat. Thank you. Yes, and but Bye-bye. give me some onion rings Thank because you for I love PayPal. them bastards. You're not PayPal. You're Jesse's Pizza. Stop pretending. All right. Uh, maybe we won't have pizza tonight. Sorry, folks. Uh, on with the show. Department of Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, dear. I received a call from this number, and and, and I, I just I don't I don't know what's going on here. What, you say the Social Security Administration? Yeah, this is the Legal Investigation Department of Social Security Administration, Miss. So can I have your first and last name along with your zip code and uh, date of birth? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. So my name is Elma Fisher. Can you please spell your name, miss? Uh, yes, it's E-L-M-A-F-I-S-H-E-R. It's Alma Fisher. Fisher, F-I-S-H-E-R. All right, can I have your date of birth, miss? Uh, yes, it's April 1st, 1959. Your zip code, miss? Uh, 24701, here in Bluefield, West Virginia. It's 24... 24-
Uh, sorry? Uh, what's your zip code, miss? It's 24701. All right. So in order to confirm your identity, can I have the last four digit of your social security number? Right. Just to verify that I'm talking with the right person or not. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 1015. All right, miss. Please be online. I'm checking your file from my system. All right, sir. So, miss, the reason you were contacted today by our department yes. was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security number. So, filed on my social security number. And we have received... Received... Filed against me, or...? Hello? Yes. Yeah, listen me up carefully, miss. Okay, I'm listening. We okay. have received orders and notices from the federal law enforcement agencies to suspend your social security number with an immediate basis because we have received so many well, suspicious do activities done do under that? your social hello hello because we have received so many suspicious trials under well, your well, name sort of, your sort of uh, suspicious uh, what did you say trials some suspicious activities miss. like what well, i haven't done anything all right, miss. So before we move ahead, I would like to inform you that the lines on which we are talking right now is being federally recorded and monitored. But before we move ahead, I ahead would like what? to inform you that the lines on which we are talking right now are being federally recorded what are we going and monitored ahead of? by the... Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. You will be given a fair chance to speak. I keep hearing beeps and I keep hearing my voice echo back to me. Okay, so before we move ahead, I would like to inform you Are that the against lines my are social or against me? Against your social security number and your name. But not me. I don't understand. It's, it's your social security number, miss. Well, that means you also involved it's, in... It's really the government. They gave it to me. So if it's in trouble, then I would rather just not have anything to do with it. Do you have a piece of paper and pen handy so you can uh, yes, write yeah. down some basic details? I do, yes, yeah. yeah write down my name, miss. Uh -huh. This Rick Jordan, R I C K O R T A N. All right, Rick, yes. Write down my badge ID number. All right. 247. 247. 524. 524. Yeah. And your case ID number. All right, yes. Yeah, it's D C. Yes, yes. 7010. All right, okay, 7010. Yeah, so now let me explain you the whole case. Yes, please uh, listen uh, me up please, carefully. Dick, uh, please, Dick, uh, please. I, I, need, I need to have this clarified. Sorry, miss. I just want all of this clarified. I, I don't know. I don't really understand what's what exactly is going on. I will explain you each and everything, miss. So please listen me up carefully. Once I'm done, you will be given a better chance. All right? Please do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is this all right, now, miss? Uh, well, yes. I'm yeah. So as for the case files from US Marshall. I just, I just want some clarification. Marshall. That's all. Sorry, miss. So now go ahead. Uh, as for the case files from U.S. Marshall, the investigation started under your name and your personal information after a search of a suspicious address on the southern border of the Texas. This the address Texas. was reported by, yeah, this address was reported by the local... So not even in West Virginia? Because we found that address in southern border of Texas. I will explain you each and everything. Please listen right, carefully. I'm, I'm, just, just, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to take in the information. Hello? Yes, yes. Any problem? No, no. I'm just, uh, as I said, I'm just trying to uh, take in the information. Yeah, miss. Yeah. Please listen me up carefully. So I, I am received... listening. Okay. So the... You can go ahead. Yeah, miss. After a search of a suspicious address on the southern border of Texas, this address was reported by the local that something is suspicious happening up there. For which the local sheriff investigated on that like, address. Like what? And they found... Some paperwork and there are two addresses had been rented under your name. The first address yeah, is... But I only have my, my own home here in West Virginia. Miss, write down the address. The first address is 1245 East 16th Avenue, El Paso, Texas. And the second address is 7609 Ocean Avenue, El Paso, Texas. Do you know any of these addresses, Miss? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, I'm from West Virginia. I don't, I don't I have a friend that lives in Texas, but it's it's not but in El Paso. But we, 
but we found that address under your name in El Paso, Texas. That's why um, this my is name. How, how would it be under my name if I'm up in here in West Virginia? Yeah, miss. It might be possible that someone is misusing your social. But how? Uh, what do you mean, my social and a rental? Yeah, sorry, miss. Uh, what What do you mean? I'm telling you that it might be possible that someone is misusing your social. How is it possible that somebody is using my social for for a rental? Yeah, for suspicious activity. For suspicious activity, yeah. Huh? Yeah, right. because the second address that I'm talking about was already under surveillance by the State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshal. The what? And the what? Yeah. what, what, and what they did you say? And the some the second address, that is 7 now, who was watching it? The State Rangers who? Division and the U.S. Marshal. State what? State Rangers? The State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshal Department. What is, what is a ranger? You don't like know a park State ranger? Rangers, State Rangers Division, the commanding office of U.S. I've, Marshal. I've never heard of the State Rangers. No, sorry. Do you heard about DEA? Well, yes, of course. That's a federal agency. It's the Drug Enforcement Administration. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah. It's right under the Justice Department. I just never heard of uh, the State Rangers. I'm in West Virginia. I don't, don't know what you're referring to exactly. So, Miss, the second address in El Paso, uh, Texas, yes, which I'm talking about, was already under surveillance by the State Rangers and the U.S. Marshal Service. I still don't know who recovered. the State Rangers. You could say it all day and all night. I'm not going to, still not going to understand. I'm sorry. I don't know who they are. Are they a, like a, a group of Boy Scouts or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's the Texas Rangers Division. Like Texas Rangers, okay. That's a baseball team no. or something, isn't it? No, miss. Well, we don't have West Virginia Rangers, that's for sure. It's a U.S. investigative law enforcement agency that called Texas Rangers or State Rangers Division. Oh, okay, that's, that's news to me, dear. Sorry. Yeah, miss. So I'm not. US I'm not in uh, Texas, as you as you see. I, I'm in West Virginia. So if yeah, it I has to do you, with I, Texas, I don't. I, uh, have, I, I have your point, Miss. I have. Well, your you're point you're that you're, I can you're assuming that I have the uh, information of a, a Texan, but. Um, I'm, a, I'm from West Virginia. Miss, I'm not assuming anything. We found some paperwork and documentation which relates to you. And the property is rented under your name and your social security number. That's why this call is regarding. Well, we just proved that uh, I, I'm not even in Texas. Yeah, miss. But they later recovered some paperwork and documentation with some banking institution. Like with Bank my of banks? America. Like, miss, the U.S. Marshal recovered some paperwork and documentation which did relates have, to... Did it have the from the... Missourian Trust? Miss, listen me up carefully. If, it, if they have any records from the Missourian Trust, it, it, it's possibly mine. But if they're not, then they're not mine. Miss, I only have I accounts with the, the Missourian thing, Trust. Or whole case procedure? Miss, yes, yes. Miss, listen me up carefully. Please, I'm telling you each and everything, and I'm here to help you. So please complete me first. The letter you cover. Why do you keep digging in my ear there, dipshit, anyway? I don't, I don't like that. It, it keeps beeping. Going beep, beep. I don't like it. It's annoying. Miss, I want to ask you one thing. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But... Yeah. So, do you want to go with the legal procedure or do you want to resolve the case outside the courthouse? Just one thing. Well, what, what, which is easier? If you want to... The legal, legal procedure, hello? Yes, yes. If you want to go with the legal procedure, then we will activate the arrest warrant, which is issued by the Drug Enforcement Administration under your name, and then the local sheriff department will visit at your doorstep within 45 minutes, all right? Or My if goodness. you want to go with the procedure that I'm giving to you, so please listen me up carefully if you want to listen me up. Yes, yes, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. So we recovered some So if I go the, the legal route, do I do I please don't like, interrupt do me? Do I get to defend myself? Or? Please listen me up carefully first. All right? Yes, yes. Yeah, we received some. But if I go the other route, uh, what what is the other route? Please I need, don't to, have, I need to have more than me. one option. Miss, we found some major banking institution documentation which relates to you, and the banking accounts are under your name and is your Is it at the Missouri and Trust the though? Because that's where my bank account is, not not anywhere else. What did you say, Miss? I said I, my my bank account sorry at the Missourian Trust nowhere else so you are dealing with Missourian Trust Bank yes yes <coughs>
<coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. Uh, so so any of the other banks? Uh, uh, yeah, miss. We found some paperwork. They've got to be. Bank of it's not, it's, Wells they're Park, not mine. Chase Bank, TD Bank. So I mean, that's that's up to you to are, deal with. There are there are seven to eight banking accounts and nine credit cards under your name and your well, personal name. Well, it's not my name. It's no. it's under a, a fraudster's name. But right now, we have to tell the details to you because the detail I'm going to give you is very confidential. So please listen yes. me up carefully. Yeah. Well, you are not dealing with these mentioned bank accounts. I can understand. But thousands of dollars have been wired from these bank accounts locally and internationally. Well, I mean, which I, I, I uh, recently just uh, withdrew a large amount of money, yes. It's, it's the Christmas season, so I, I, I took my, uh, my, my money out of my bank and so I could do some shopping. Yeah, so the bank account that I'm talking about, there are thousands yes. of dollars. Like they well, as I said, uh, if they're not Missourian <laughs> Trust, it's not, it's not my bank account. Miss, but the bank accounts that I'm talking about... Well, I'm not really worried about those bank name. accounts because they're not mine. Just close them. But Just close them. These bank accounts are also under your name. And no, I no, they're not mine. Someone is using your social... No, I, I didn't do any of that, so that's not mine. It might be possible, ma'am. No, that's not possible. It, it can't be possible. Uh, it, it's a, it has to be a, stake, uh, a case of mis, uh, misidentity or something because uh, I only have the one bank account and I'm in West Virginia. You keep talking about Texas and other bank accounts that aren't mine. You see, there are two different things. There's things that are mine and things that are not mine. And those are parts of the things that are not mine. I told you earlier that it might be possible that you could be a victim of identity theft or you, someone is misusing your social. So now let me ask you some security questions. Like right? using my, misusing my social media? Social, social like security my Facebook? number. Or I should change my password perhaps. I'm not asking about social media. Is it my Twitter? My nephew just set me up on that. I don't really uh, understand. I, I tried to follow Ellen, but Do you want to I don't think she procedure? she didn't Why follow me back for some reason. Do you know how to get Ellen to follow you back on Twitter? Really like that. She's an amazing person. Me? Yes, yes. Do you want to understand, or you want to go with the legal processor? Tell me one thing. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. The, the legal uh, process so sounds like it would be a, a whole lot of uh, effort. Uh, probably it would probably cost me money as well. If you want I, I don't to want to. I don't want to do that. Right? I don't want to go that way, no. What's the right, other route? Write down your how, 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 how am I going to resolve this another way? Right now I cannot do anything, so please hold the line for a while so I can check out your past record and criminal records. Only then I can say anything about you, Miss. Oh my goodness, right. well, I, I'm, I, I'm squeaky clean. I, I've never been in any kind of trouble in my life. I've lived here in West Virginia. I've gone to church all of my life. I, 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 I don't do anything wrong. I don't, certainly nothing criminal. Miss, our team has already checked your past record and we found that your banking records contain genuine records and your criminal records are totally clean. That is the reason we believe that it might be possible it could be a case of identity theft or you might be a victim of that. Oh, All right. goodness. So now let me ask you some security questions. Please answer it honestly and correctly, okay? Well, yes, of course. I'm, I'm always honest. Have you ever lost your wallet any time in the recent past or any type of your identity cards before? No. Have you ever shared yeah, okay, your social yes, with anyone? Yes, I have. I'm sorry. Yes, I have. You uh -huh. lost your wallet? In yes, there? I did. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Have I you thought, ever shared your social with thought maybe if you didn't know wallet? about it. Uh, have I shared my social with anybody? No, no, goodness, no. All right. Did you receive any um, type of Okay, yes, I, I did. I did share it with... I did share it with uh, my, my nephew one time when he needed to fill out some forms for something that he was not accepted for and he, he used my social instead and he was accepted. I'm sorry. I... Miss, moving to the next question. Did you receive yes. any type of spam calls or mails recently like someone is asking you to take health insurance or like this? Uh, yes, yes, actually. I received a couple of calls like that. Yes, yes, they were, everybody was asking me for information, it seemed like. It was like, I got like four or five different calls, and they were like asking about, actually, actually asking about social security benefits and uh, some uh, medical benefits. When peop one uh, was called uh, Citizen's Disability, uh, they were calling about uh, seeing how my health was. They all were asking yeah. about my information. All right, miss, moving to the next question. Have you ever put your personal uh, Okay, I'm minority? sorry, S sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's, I made that up. I made that up, I'm sorry. I didn't, uh, nobody called me. No, nobody has called me. You're the only one that has called me. 
or admit so you want to go with the legal procedure so uh, no 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 I'm no i don't i'm trying i'm you told me to be honest as as possible so i am being honest so what do you want to say to me i'm sorry why for lying can we just what move on please can, can we just move on please uh, i'll be 100% honest from here on out i i won't even uh, just have to correct myself i'll i'll be so honest on the, the first question. try All right. So, have moving to the next question. Have you ever put your personal details online on any type of websites, like while doing online shopping or while applying for a credit card or while applying for a job like this? No, no. Like like a uh, so like on, like an online bank or something? No, no. I've never done that. No. Online done shopping that. or any kind of applying or credit card? Well, I, I've done online shopping, but with my own credit card. Okay. So now it seems like someone got access to them and using it all though. The investigation is ongoing. So surely the investigation officers will get to the bottom of this case, all right? All right, all right, yes. So wait for a while. I'll submit this information to the courthouse. Wait for a minute. It will take right. some time, okay? Okay, I'll be here. Yeah, Mr. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. So I'm transferring your call to the senior department in authority and they will proceed it further, okay? All right, James. Thank you. Please be online. It will take some time. All right. Thank you for holding a line. This side, Officer David Cooper from Social Security Administration. How can I help you, Miss? Well, hello, Mr. Cooper. How are, how are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. That's good. That's good. How yeah. can I help you, Miss? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what? Like some legal investigation going on under your Social Security number. So are you aware about this? Anything like that? Well, I was just forwarded to you, so. All right. And. Have you shared your social security number? Any other person like your friend, family member, anyone like that? Oh my goodness! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh goodness! Uh, no. All right. Uh, uh, yes, I'm yes, I have. Oh my goodness! I, I told, I told the last guy. Yes, yes, I did. I did share it with my, my and nephew. Another person is asking about another person. Like, have you shared your social security number? Like yes, your yes, friend, my nephew. Family my member. nephew. All right, and also have you lost your wallet at any time recent past of your identity card? No. no. All right. No. So yes, I'm just asking you one thing. Yes, yes, I did. I did. I did. You lost your wallet. Yes. All right. Yes. And I'm asking you one thing, Miss. And how many bank accounts under your name, as per your knowledge, so we can differentiate them? Well, as per my knowledge, there would be only only the one. Can I have your bank name so we can differentiate them? And I'm not asking your bank account number, like your routing number, like your credit card number, anything uh, it's else. It's called the it Missourian the Trust. Law. It's a it's a little uh, a credit union here. Credit union, all right. Yes. And it's a checking account or saving account, and you have both. Well, both, yes, both. You have both, all right. And do you know how much approximate balance in your checking account right now? Like two thousand, five thousand. Do you have any idea? Well, as I told the, the last gentleman, I, I have uh, I withdrew uh, all of my funds for Christmas, so I could do some shopping. So, do you know how much approximate value? I'm not asking exact amount. I'm asking approximate value, like two thousand, one thousand. How well, much? I you have, have I have sixty five hundred, six thousand five hundred. In your saving, am I right? No, no, in my in my uh, purse. In your purse, in all my right. purse, yes. And uh, all right. And how much approximate balance in your checking account? Uh, zero dollars. Zero dollars. All yes. right. And what about your saving? Uh, uh, zero dollars. All right. And do you have any other bank account under your name? Uh, no, no. All right. And do you have any credit card under your name? Uh, no, no. Any prepaid card, as when card? No, no, no. Uh, do you have any 401k plan under your name? Uh, no. IRA? Uh, no. No. All right, miss. No. And how many houses under your name? Do you have any house under your name? No, no, I just rent. You live in rented house, all yes, right. Yes, yeah. And how many vehicles under your name? Do you have any car under uh, your no, name? No, I don't have any vehicles, no. All right. And apart from this, do you have driving license under your name? Uh, no, no. You have not, all right. No. Yes. So just hold for a moment, all right? Give me a moment. So all right, yes. Wait. Yes, your call has been connected to legal investigation officer Mike Cooper. I believe am I talking to Mr. Shishar? Yes, yes. Hi, Shishar. How are you doing today? Not too bad, dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Miss. So, Miss, uh, my name is Officer Mike Cooper. And wasn't that I who was I was? Right I was just speaking with you, wasn't it? Not? No, uh, you were talking to Mr. Ago. David Cooper, I think. So. David, okay, <laughs> he confused me with the, okay. the same name, Cooper. Yeah. So, write it down my name. My name is Officer Mike Cooper. All right. Yes. 
All right. So write it down my batch ID number is one eight one two nine four. All right. All right. So Mr. Yes. first of all, can I have your case reference number as well? That's DC seven zero one zero. All right. Can I have your warrant ID number? I think that was two four seven five two four. All right, uh, Miss. I would like to uh, tell you that uh, my officer have explained you each and every detail about your case, like why yes, there yes. is a case has been found under your name. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. All right, so Miss. What do you think about this? Like you are the. Uh, I don't know what's going right? on. I, it's, I can't. I can't believe this is happening because uh, I don't. I don't. I, I don't do anything like uh, criminal. I, can't, I, I don't. I, I don't even know how this would happen. All right. So uh, say you something uh, about uh, uh, all these addresses that are under my name. I don't. Uh, that's. I don't even understand. All right. So you are trying to. And there's some. That, uh, vehicle, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so you're trying to say that the things are not done by intentionally by you, and someone else is using your identity, am I right? Well, I, I, that's what I'm saying, yes, because uh, it just doesn't even make sense. What even doesn't make sense, miss? Well, none of it. How, how can they do any of this? Must we do have the evidence and proof against your name? Well, against not against my Kevin name, Lester. against, yes, against, against somebody name. using <laughs> the name. Your somebody is using your name is the secondary matter, Miss. But it, it, well, it we does in a court of law. It actually does. Yes. But currently, uh, we do have an evidence against you. Against Not against name. me. You have a, against somebody who used my name. So, Miss, we have a evidence against your name. No. And against your social because I didn't Miss, do anything. Miss, evidence Miss, proves. Miss, no, no, no. Miss, you listen Miss, to me. Miss. Evidence proves something. You can't prove anything because I didn't do anything i don't yeah. believe on you as well all right miss you're talking See? to the legal investigation department right. of the okay well we need to just resolve this stop it. stop trying to threaten me i'm not trying to threaten you i will go with the legal procedure all right miss we are just here to inform you okay miss to so further notice yes. which we have received from the code house of taxes to suspend your current social security number as per right. the protocol once we okay. suspend your social okay. then you won't able to access your account so before right. your assets and liabilities get seized we need to differentiate which account belongs to you and which yes. account is fake account all right all right yes okay so let me ask you a few further questions and based on this investigation right now okay. how many addresses are listed under your name uh well i i don't uh, own any myself i just i right. rent the uh, so the property i'm at okay how many vehicles do you own under your name? Uh, I don't own any vehicles. I don't drive. You don't drive. Okay. How many bank accounts do you deal with currently? Well, I only have the one bank account. Can I, can I have the name of the bank account? No, oh, it's, a, it's a, a local credit union. It's Missouri and Trust. All right. Uh, do you carry checking account, savings account, or both? Well, there is, there is both in there, yeah. Okay. In checking account, what is the current balance available in your checking account? Uh, in the checking, there would be zero dollars. Okay. And in your savings account? Uh, in the savings, there would also be zero dollars. Okay. So you might be having enough amount in your bank account. So do you have a cash on uh, hand with you? Uh, yes. I, I took all of my cash uh, from my bank account a few days ago for, for Christmas purposes. Okay. Uh, do you have have a driving license? Uh, no, as I said, I don't drive there, dipshit. Uh, listen, listen up. Okay. So, do you have any investment plans like 401k or IRA plans? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. So, uh, no problem. So, as per the report in front of my desk, state that we have found an abandoned car on the South Board of Taxes, uh, which was registered under your name and under your show. Are you, are you, the, are you just repeating the exact same? That's exactly what the first person said. Yeah, I do know that he was just. Y telling you know, it's like literally word for word. Yeah. So are I you reading it from? Some no, sort I'm of not reading it from it. script. I just want to ask you one more question. Do you have a lawyer who can represent you inside the code house of taxes uh, within next 24 not. hours? Absolutely not. No, no. So do you want us to hire a government lawyer for you? I would have to get a, a government attorney. I would have to be legal aid, something that doesn't cost anything. Okay. So according to Section 70 and Subsection 1958, Drug Enforcement Act, there is a non-billable arrest warrant issued under your name. After this call, get disconnected. All right? Oh goodness, the reason man. you receive a call is because we have checked your past records and we found that you are a law-abiding citizen who doesn't have any criminal records. Am I right? 
Oh, that's correct, yes, of course. So we thought of calling you and giving you a chance to cooperate before you face any legal cancer. Uh, now it's a uh, legal what, sir? Legal conscious cancer. Con legal what? A legal procedure. A legal procedure, yes. You maybe you might want to change that one. Okay. So now it's up to you. If you cooperate with our rec on this recorded line and be honest with me on this call, all right, and answer my question, we can suspend your current social security number and issue a new one so that you you don't face any problem in the future. Am I right? All right, yes, that's fine. Okay. First thing, at this ongoing investigation, according to Privacy Act of 1958, mm. section... Well, what does this all have? Have to do with me anyway. I don't know. I don't. So why don't you just cancel all of the bank accounts? First of all, uh, let me just give you each and every information. If you information, just cancelled all, right? all of the bank accounts, it would be fine. Well, I told you, I will give you the information. My job is to give you the information, all right? Well, which is the person that's going to uh, gonna, uh, answer let questions? Me first, let me complete first, and I'll give you a fair enough chance to speak, all right, miss? I want to get each and everything here. Okay. You're not allowed to disclose any information to any third person until and unless we issue your security what about Jesse? <laughs> I'm not there about Jesse, okay? Listen to me very carefully. Jesse, I told you before, to be please to do not interrupt me while I'm giving you this Jesse, information. you need to go to your room because you're not allowed to be listening. It will be strictly between you and the EA. Now, Jesse's going to stay. Marshall, okay. Federal Trade Commission. The reason why we are telling you to keep this personal is because it might be your friend or your family member. My friend, it could be... Jesse, your... was it you? Was this you again? I thought you were done with this. You can trust them, but we cannot trust them in this case of money laundering and drug transferring. He's saying I can't trust you, Jesse. I never have, actually. Ugh. We have he's, he's my he's my man. nephew, but he's 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 24 years old, but he acts like he's 12 years old. We have records under your name and your social security number that you hold nine business account and six credit card. No, we close them all down. We need to differentiate, Miss. We cannot close it. All right? Why not? Why not? All right. Miss, let me do one thing. Let me go ahead with the legal procedure because you're not trying to cooperate with no, the... No, I'm trying to cooperate. I'm giving you options. You're not, miss. You don't have to give me an option, miss. Well, you're you not able to do your job, it seems like. Let me do one thing, miss. Let me go with the legal procedure. Let me send uh, the US That doesn't matter. It doesn't cost me Andrew. anything anyway. Let me send the U.S. Marshal at your mailing address with the legal What is that? What's my mailing... Data. What's my mailing address? The warrant of arrest against the enemy. What's my mailing right, address? Miss, I'll, I'll believe you if you can tell me my mailing warrant, address. With the legal warrant of arrest against you your don't name. Have, you don't even know where I live. With the legal evidence against your name. You don't know where I live, dipshit. Nice talking to you. Listen, you little idiot. You don't know where the hell I live. Those are empty I know, threats. Miss. You are talking to the officer. You're not talking to your friend, okay? Yeah, I'm talking to an idiot because you don't know where I live. You don't even have my mailing address. No problem. In, in 15 minutes, you will get arrested. Oh, really? From what? How? Tell me my address and maybe I'll be a little bit Bye. afraid. Little boo-hoo. can I help you. Oh, yes. I, I received a call from this number. I was, I was calling it back. Okay, but what time did you receive that call from what department? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I, I was out for most of the day. You see, I went out to the market to... Mm. I get some vegetables for tonight's salad, but I came home and it was uh, the number okay. was on my telephone here, and I, I didn't recognize it, so I mm. I called it back. Okay, so ma'am, did you receive any case ID number or reference ID number along with that call? Was there one along with a number? I, I only received mm -hmm. the number. Okay, so can you help me out with your first and last name? Yes, it's, 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 it's Elma mm -hmm. Fisher. Sorry? First name Elma, E-L-M-A, mm -hmm. last name Fisher, F-I-S-H-E-R. Okay, so ma'am, um, hold the line, okay? Let me yes, yes, you. I'll be here. Yes, can you hear me, Miss Elima? Yes, yes, I'm here. So, so ma'am, first of all, this is Officer Ray Martin calling you from Social Security Administration. Am Ray, I right? did you I say? Did this is Ray Martin. Ray Martin. Ray Martin. Calling you. Okay. Yes, calling you from Social Security Ray Administration. So, Social Security Administration. Yeah. So, Ray Martin. Okay. Yeah. Bad ID, ID number. Emma Bad ID number is D. What is it? D. D. S. and Delta. S. S. and Seven. D. S. Seven. 
five. Seven. Five. Five. Seven five. Seven five. All right. So, okay. So the reason you were conducted today was to inform you regarding some what? legal enforcement yes. action filed on your social okay. security. So we have got an order to suspend your social at this right moment uh, because we have found many social. Yes, because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. So, mm. ma'am, did you receive any calls from? No, I, did, I, did, I, have, I haven't. Uh, I haven't uh, done anything maybe with my, my social. Yes, maybe. I, I don't mm, even. I don't even. I don't even use Facebook or, or Twitter or any of those. Okay. okay. Social so, medias. Um, okay. In that case, we have two options available for you. Either we can go ahead and provide you some more details regarding this case, or else we can forward your file. I, I've never the even local. logged into the, the, the Twitter one. Uh, but that was my nephew. Okay. He set me up the account, and I've never, I've mm. never, I don't know how so, to use it at all. Okay. Have you ever lost your? He told me I could talk to Ellen through it. But I don't okay. know how. So, Miss Allen, Miss, have you ever re have you ever lost your identification somewhere in past? I lost my what, sir? You lost your identification somewhere in past. Have you ever lost? I, I don't know what you mean. Like lost my. I say, have you ever lost your identification somewhere in past? Well, like like, like my name? like my purse or, or, or yes, something. Yes, yeah, your purse. Well, well yes, I I have in the past. Yes, but that was okay. some time ago. I don't, I'm very I'm much more responsible now in my. Okay, so maybe later years. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, we have two options available for you. I believe later it was probably can... when I was twenty or so that I would have lost it. So okay, we're so... speaking, we're talking about. Uh, okay, can you hear the, me? Probably the eighties or so. Okay, so ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear. You. So in that, I case, can hear you perfectly. There's, uh, there's no problem with the line whatsoever. Okay, so in that case we have. Well, two it's a little bit loud in the background. That's about it. Okay, so in that case we have two options available for you. Either we can go ahead and provide you some more details regarding the case, no, or, else can forward, or else we can forward your file to the local police and they can directly take this matter in court out. So would you like me to provide you some more details regarding this case, or shall I go ahead with the legal proceeding? Oh, well, well, goodness, no. We, we, you can. Uh, of course, give me more information, please. Yes. Okay, so man, if it was a choice between information or, or legal okay, so actions, then of course, yes, I'd, I'd take the information. Okay, so before I go ahead and provide you any personalized details on this case, I'd like to make sure that I'm talking to the right and correct person. Am I right, Mr. Ellen Yes, yes. So, ma'am, can you verify oh, me your oh, date of birth? Oh, God. Sorry? Can you verify me your date of birth? Yes, it's April 1st. 1959. Oh, Boda. April 4th, right? After the Yes, 1959, yes. Okay. Well, can you verify me that last four digit of your social security number so that we can disclose this and every information regarding the suspicion? Yes, it's 1015. 1015, right? Yes, yes. So, ma'am, I would also like to tell that these lines are getting fed delivery and monitor recorded. So, please do not disrupt me while I'm giving you details about Okay. I'll it's, give you fair been, enough chance. It's been what, sorry? I would also like to tell you that these lines are getting fed delivery and monitor the, recorded. The monitor recorded, and right? re recorded, yes. monitor, yeah. recorded monitors? Yes. Monitor and recorded lines. Monitored and recorded. Okay. So okay. please do not, what, disrupt, do not where, disrupt me while where, I'm giving you details what are, about What do case. they do with that? See, your social has been found suspicious for criminal uh, who d activities. Who's recording it? Ma'am, it's a recorded line, okay? It's going to say in court house. In the courthouse? Yes, because uh, your, which, social has uh, been, your social has been right, found yes. suspicious for criminal uh, activities in the state of okay, Texas. Then. So, ma'am, because we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters, as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you killed the inside the courthouse. So, let me tell you what exactly happened. The investigation started when we found an abandoned. Well, I was out all day at the market. I was okay. getting some Maybe. vegetables for the salad and for, for supper. Okay, so, ma'am, the, the investigation started oh when we found an. Holy the investigation God. started when we found an Indian car on South border of Texas and a car and some blood and drugs residue. I, I, I didn't take my vehicle there. I, I, she just I had my okay. friend. I had my friend drive me there. Oh, okay. 
So, ma'am, we have to see. The investigation started when we found an appendient car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some plant and truck residues inside it. After investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and your personal social information. So, have you ever rented a car before? We got some cucumbers and the, the tomatoes. I didn't think the tomatoes were very ripe for this time of year. But you're talking about a, a, a vehicle. I don't know anything about no vehicle. Okay. So the address in the city of Rowlett was read by U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence, okay? But we have recovered yes, the, the two The main lettuce was this. this beautiful, though. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drugs and some documentation from Finance Health Institute, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, what? What? and U.S. Bank. Uh, hello? And this, yes. Yes. Can, and this entire purple work has your name on it and thousands Whose of Whose name on it? Your name, your name, man. Who's my name? Yeah, so and uh, I didn't, I didn't do, I, I'm in here in yes. West Virginia. See, listen, see, listen, maybe someone has missed this in your social security number, okay? Maybe your friends... My, your my social members. security number is in my purse, dear. Yeah? Okay, maybe someone has missed, but someone is taking your social no, security I, number. No, mine is, mine is in mm -hmm. my purse. It's okay, so, see, and this entire your paperwork has your name on it. And just uh, just to hold on a moment, just one moment. I, I'm going to check my purse. Okay, check it, man. Uh, here somewhere. Uh, y yes, uh, I have my social security number card so, here. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, so it's right here. See, okay, see, and your social name, your social, I think, found suspicious for criminal No, I, I've, it's, I have it right here, dear. Maybe someone has stolen your social security no, number. No, I have it here. It's right here in my you hand. It, okay. Yes. So you told me that you have lost your education, right? Well, no, no, I lost my purse. I lost my purse you when I was, it, that was in the, the 80s, and I didn't okay. even have my social security number at that time. Mm -hmm. So... Have you ever tried to upload your personal social information somewhere oh on the internet to no, get some? No, to get I don't some. do any kind of that. I have a, a good uh, uh, relationship with my bank uh, here. Okay. And I, I, so, I know the bank manager. So. so, how many people have access to your personal social information? Nobody. Okay, so if you are agree to help the Department of Treasury in the case, then only we can put your case warrant on hold. As we well, have how, to how would I way. help? So I, tell you I don't know how I could exactly help help in this matter. Hello? I mean, if there's a way that I that I can, then I will. See, ma'am, if you are able to have the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can The Department of Treasury? I thought you said this was the Social Security Administration. Yeah, I'm calling from Social Security Administration. Then why would you transmit for me to... I, I don't understand what's going on. See, your, your social has been found suspicious, okay, for the, criminal activities. The, what, no, no, it's right here in my hand. Okay, so I have my hand card hand. right here. It says two three five two five one zero one five. Elma Fisher. Okay, so ma'am. I don't know how it could be used uh, illegally if it's in my hand. Okay, so in this regard, we have also take your cash record and we have Does somebody come and take it at night when I'm sleeping and then return it in the morning? I don't know, someone is misusing your social security. But number. how are they doing that if it's in my hand? You're telling me it's being misused, but hmm? I, I, I have them. I have the card right here. Okay. Do, do you understand what I'm what I'm trying to? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't. That's why it's confusing me a little bit. Okay. Maybe I don't have all of the information. I, I'm I'm sorry, but. Uh, See, ma'am, we have recover. So we have recover many evidence under your name, okay? And if you talk many about evidence the under my name, yes. Was yes, it under my name? Yes. Finance oh, was it the other Elma Fisher in West Virginia? Okay, we'll see. We have recovered 20 There's an there's a Elma M. Fisher and there's an Elma L. Fisher. I'm the L. Fisher for Luis. You see, ma'am, am I speaking with Elma Fisher, right? Yes, yes, Elma see, L. Luis Fisher. Mm -hmm. So we have recovered 20 bank account, 15 20. credit cards. No, 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 no. I, all, all, uh, there, uh, there's only one account that's under my name. There might be another one okay. that's under, maybe it's the uh, Elma M. Fisher. No, it's Elma. I think it's 
it's Margaret or Mary or something. I'm not sure exactly. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. so, I, I, I'm, yes, yes. Hello? Do you have... Yeah, do you, do you live in your own house or are you renting it? No, I'm, I'm renting it. You are renting it, right? Yes, yes. I, I did own a home, but uh, since my husband passed, uh, I, I could okay. not take care of it myself. So I, I started renting and uh, the owner t takes care of the, uh, the major okay. issues. Okay, so how many vehicles do you have under your name? I don't have any vehicles under my name. So, ma'am, are you employed or unemployed? Uh, sorry, I'm a retiree. Retire. Yes, I'm retired. Hello? Are you still there? Hello? Hello? I think he's gone and hung up. Thank you for uh, uh, calling. Your call has been transferred to your chief investigation officer. My name is Scott Myers. How can I help you? Oh, Scott, yes. I was just speaking with an individual. I, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. If he, he didn't tell me he was transferring me to anybody. He didn't tell you that? that no, he be, didn't. He's going to transfer the call? No, he didn't. No. He was he was actually in, in the middle of a sentence, and then uh, he put the call on hold, and then uh, all of a sudden I heard some beeping, and you were there. So I, I don't know. Okay, okay, no problem. Maybe, well, you, should, uh, look at his, uh, maybe you should look at his... His performance and maybe do a performance review on him because uh, I don't mm -hmm. think he's doing quite adequate. Okay, okay. I'm gonna look at him, alright? But first of all, I'm asking with Miss Fisher. Uh, Fisher, oh, yes. Miss Fisher, yes. Okay, so did you understood each and everything? Did you understood a, a little about investigation? Well, about I, I understood each, but uh, the everything was a little bit uh, fuzzy, so uh, I mean... Why is that it's, fuzzy? Uh, well, Why because do I don't that? understand. I don't understand what, how this could be happening. I, I, don't, I, don't, I have my social security number card uh, in my hand, but uh, you know, the gentleman said that it was being misused, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I have it in my hand. How can it be misused if it's in my hand? You know, listen, first of all, Mr. Fisher, you know, there is certain possibilities from there your social got compromised, okay? Maybe you upload your information over the internet, okay? No, I didn't, though. Or, maybe, or did you share your information to No, person? I didn't. You didn't? No. How many people have access to your social? Me, that's it. What about your family members? Sonia, your Nobody, friend? nobody. Nobody? I don't have anybody. Do you by yourself? Yes. That's why I'm, I'm finding it very peculiar why uh, how this could have happened because uh, all of my information is secure I have it with I me totally, I've never lost I it totally, I totally understand why you feel peculiar alright but right now Miss Fisher you know we also don't know who is the real culprit behind this criminal yes, activity yeah. okay yeah, yeah. we also don't know that and there is certain possibilities from there your social got compromised so if you're saying you're not the one who's involved in this then our first concern is to clear your name from case oh yes of course of course okay I hope you understand what I'm trying to say yes I do of course alright so Miss Fisher right now you know about Evidences. You know, if we're talking about the financial related documents that uh, we have recovered under your name, we almost got like 20 bank accounts, 15 credit cards, 10 chart cards, 5401k plans, and 2 IRA accounts that is currently listed under your name and under your social security number. Well, so and as, I, as, I told the, as I told the last gentleman, um, it, it's okay. You can shut down every single bank under my name because I, I, I recently just withdrew uh, all of my money uh, uh, for, for Christmas purposes. Okay, so there, I, have, I have a bank account but there's nothing in it. There's about twenty dollars in just to keep it open. What, can you please help me out the name of the bank that you're dealing with so I can just That's Chase the Bank. The Chase Bank. Chase Bank. Yes. And you have a checking account with that or a saving account with that bank? A checking and a savings. Yes. Checking and a saving. And how much available yes. balance that you're holding in that checking saving right now? Uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars in checking and how much yes. in saving? Yes. Uh, zero. Zero. And do you hold uh, any credit card under your name? No. No. Any prepaid card? Any type no. of card under your name? No, no. I use cash. Okay, okay. And do you have any 401k, any IRA account under your no. name, Mr. Sure? Sheer? No. Nothing? No. Okay, and apart from that, apart from these financial related documents, how much available balance that you're holding at your home right now? I in cash. Oh, well, well, I have about uh, $15,000 in cash here. But... Okay, no problem. So, Ms. Fisher, let me go ahead and update uh, your asset verification form at the courthouse of taxes into the U.S. Treasury Department. All right. Uh, all right, yes. And uh, put a request uh, at the U.S. Treasury Department in order to put your arrest warrant on hold and initiating the cancellation process of your case file that is going to be executed. Okay? So, let me explain you what you have to do until your name has not been cleared from this case. The first condition is that you're not allowed to fly outside United States. Okay, but if you will The have first one is what? The first one is that you are not you have allowed to what? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. What, yeah, there's I'm a little noise that, on this uh, line. I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm telling that the first yes. condition is that you're not allowed to fly outside the United States.
right? But if you happen to fly, then you will have to take the permission from the quota. All right. Uh, so what's that all sound? Right. What, what, what's that sound, miss? No, I have animals around here, sorry. You have animals around there? Yes, yeah. Okay, so right but now... But you don't have the animals there? I don't have any problem with animals, miss. Okay. I have a problem with the noise. Well, I have a problem with the noise in your background as well, but did they hear me uh, complaining about it there, dipshit? No. Sorry? Sorry? What are you apologizing for? Are you apologizing for your incompetence or what? No, no, no. Okay, well, continue then. <laughs> Prove me wrong. How can I help you? Uh, yes, dear, I've received a call from this number, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what uh, it's in regards to. All right, so when did you receive the call, ma'am? Well, I'm not sure exactly when. I've been out for uh, a little while. All now, right, so. all right. So the reason you got the call from our department is because we have received a notice from the law enforcement agency to suspend your social security number, as oh. we have received suspicious trails of information on your name and your social. So are you aware about this situation? What is happening under your name and your social? Oh my goodness, no. What, what, that's uh, that's very All right, concerning. So. What's, what's going on? All right, so before I go ahead and write out the legal charge, can your name and your social, can you verify me your first name and the last name? Well, how would you, how, how do you know that this is all going on? You didn't even take my name. I don't have your name. I have your number. I don't have yeah, your name. Yeah, but you, didn't, so call on, you didn't call on this number. This is my friend's phone. Call that I you. called. No, I, this is my friend's phone that I called the number that I see on my phone. I didn't call from my phone. I called okay. from a different phone. How did you, how do you know that it's about me if you didn't have any information on me? You just told me there's uh, things going on. But how do you know that? How do you know who I am? But someone is miscusing under your name and your well, social Well, what's my first name? name? What's my I first didn't name? I did not have your name. She well, then how you. do you know that they're using my name if you don't have my name? Do you see where that, that, that doesn't make sense? You don't know my name, but you're saying they use my name. How do you know they're using my name if you don't have my name? Ma'am, I, th I think she forgot to ask me my name. Department of Social Security Administration. Uh, somebody now, call for the record. Uh, so, uh, somebody call here for me. Uh, all right, and along with the phone call, sir, did you receive any case number? Uh, no, no, I, I was just out back, out back in the yard that I was working. I came in here and this, uh, the number was on my phone here and I, I, I had to call back. So somebody call me for a record? All right, so, so first of all, sir, you have reached the investigation department of Social Security Administration. My name is Agent social, Arthur social, Miller with what? my employee number at 601. Zero, not one. And since, sir, right. you said you did not receive any case number, no, first no, of all, no, sir, no, in order no, for me to check. No. Yes, I'm sorry, sir? No, I was, I, I told you I was just so back, back working in the yard there, and I came in, the number was on my phone. Usually I come in, I, if there was a number on my phone, it was one of my supplies for my, I, I own a record business here in West Virginia. No, sir, uh, this is the Social Security Administration. No, uh, my name is uh, Agent Aubrey Miller, with my page ID number at 60091. And I'm the verification officer from the Social Security Administration. So first of all, sir, since officer. you say that you no. did not... Okay. So, and um, since, sir, you, since you say that you did not receive any case number, uh, in order for me to check your records in my system, so as I could let you know why my department tried to reach a date, can you please verify me with your first and your last name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Michael Hunt. Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Michael, last name Hunt, H-U-N-T-T. Two T's at the end. Two T's. Okay. And Mr. Hunt is for the security record and business here in Bluefield, West Virginia. Virginia. Bluefield, West, West Virginia. Yeah, All right. Yeah, uh, I'm I own a record business here. I own a fleet, fleet of records. Fleet of records. I can wreck damn near anything. Yes, sir. So the reason that you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action that has been filed on your social security number. So, sir, are you aware about the situation? Is it this Sorry? for me or is this, does it have to do with me or does it have to do with my, my business? Because I own a record business here in West Virginia. Uh, no, no. It, it has Hunt's to do record. with you, sir. We do it's Hunt's record. We do, believe that some, or we do believe that somebody might be misusing your personal information for identity and has committed some serious crimes in the state of Texas. Oh so are you aware about the situation? No, 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 goodness. Uh, if I was aware about it, I'd be doing something about it. No, no, I don't know nothing about it. What, what's going all right, on? So, what's what's going on? All right, I'll let you know about that, sir. I hope this don't affect my, my wrecking business here because I, I got a wrecking business here in West Virginia, Bluefield, West Virginia. All right, so first of all, sir, uh, you know, wreck damn near anything. Wreck cars, trucks, RVs, tractors, it don't matter. Wreck damn near anything. 
All right, so uh, Mr. Han, this is for the security and verification process. And in order for me to pull out your legal cash file from the system, can you please yeah. verify me with the last four digits of your social security number? Yeah, 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 it's 1015. 1015. All right, so Mr. Han, just take a quick second, okay? Let me yeah, pull yeah, out your yeah. records and I'll let you know what this call is regarding to. Just take yeah. a night for a quick moment. Thank All you. Right, yeah, yeah. Frankie, get All right, cars Mr. Han, I'm so... here for a little bit. Boy, wants to talk to me for a little bit, so you get them cars crushed. Hello? Yes, Mr. Han, so I've got you here, and in my system, I can see that the reason that you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action that has been legal filed on your social security number. Is that against yes, me or yes, is that sir. against Hunt's records? I own a record business here in, in, uh, in West Virginia. It's against you, sir. It's against Michael Hunt. And, sir, so, and we have received orders and notices from the federal government to suspend your existing social government. security number. Well, I pay my taxes. On an immediate I, I, I'm an open book, you know. I, 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 anytime taxes come around, I pay all of my taxes. I don't hide nothing. Sir, uh, I should be I, up, up. I, I should be up, that, uh, up to date on everything. I, I have an open book. I'm yes, an sir, open book. I tell everybody I'm an open book. Yes, sir. So the thing is, uh, this is not regarding your taxes, but uh, we do believe that somebody might be misusing your personal information for identity and has committed some serious crime. So does that have something to, to do with any of the cars that I that I wreck? Because sometimes uh, they get abandoned. Uh, the cars get abandoned. And I, I go and pick them up, and they, uh, the, the, the the city just wants them crushed. So I crush them. Sometimes uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, 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 some kind of criminal case uh, attached to them cars, and the police come down. They have some questions, and they uh, they maybe look through the cars, and they they, they do all their investigations. Uh, that's happened once or twice uh, throughout the years. Uh, so, so I, but as I tell everybody, I'm an open book. I'm an open book. So any, anything that I have is uh, available to you. Yes, sir. So, so uh, my my business is up and up. You. I'm above the board. I'm, uh, I'm 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 an open book. We really appreciate your honesty, sir. We do really appreciate your honesty. So, sir, uh, let me just do my part. All right, and I'll be providing you with the information about what's going on with your social security number, okay? Yes, well, I can't have it be affecting my, my business here. I got a, it's a, it's a pretty big business. I got a whole fleet, fleet of wreckers. I got 10 so wreckers. First, first, I got a big first, one. We can wreck them to anything. We will have to clear your number from all of activities, all right? So all we need is a little cooperation from your ass. So we can even wreck farm sir, equipment like those apple tree shakers. They have these big apple tree shakers. I wrecked one of them one time. We could, we could wreck them anything. Right, I, so, I wrecked a stripper limo once. Wrecked Hearst. All right, I wrecked so, a hot tub on so, wheels. So you have, uh, do you have anything to write with, like a pen and a piece of paper? Or oh, <laughs> this is an office. <laughs> yes, of course, I got a pen right here somewhere. All right. So first of all, sir, uh, this is an office of a record you know, business. So the paper's a little bit dirty. <laughs> got some crease on it, but uh, I, I, can, I can write. It, yes, it's yes, not I a problem. Write, write. All right. So first of all, sir, since you have the right to know with whom you're speaking to, minute. you can wait first of all uh, note down my name. This, this, this isn't my pen. Just wait. John, you stealing my pen again? You bastard! You stealing my pen? I'm telling you, he's always stealing my pen. Oh, yeah, this this one works. This one. All right, so first of all, sir, as I was telling you, since you have the right to know with whom you're speaking to, first of all, you can note down my name, my badge yeah, number, yeah. along with your case ID, okay? All right. So, sir, the first name is Aubrey. That is A U B R one, and the last oh, name yeah. is Miller. That is M I L L E R. Oh, Miller. <laughs> it's like Miller time. Yes. Sir. <laughs> that, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> All right, and then uh, you can note down my employee ID number. So my employee ID starts with the letter G, like in government, S, like in service. G. You a G. <laughs> you a G. Yeah, I'll be the G. Yes, sir. G, G, like in government, S, as in service. Yeah, buddy. Number six, number zero, number zero, number nine, number one. It's G, S, six, zero. Yeah, no, I got that. I got nine. that. I write down part numbers all day. <laughs> you know, when we get the record, right. uh, we, we take over the good parts, we sell that good parts, and then we then we press right, the rest so, and we uh, sell the steel, you see, in this wrecking uh, yard. Right. So uh, the uh, wrecking is just one then, part uh, of the business, you see, and then it's processing all the cars that I wreck. <laughs> that's that's where you make the money. Uh, you know, the, the wrecking, uh, the, the, right. the, the municipality pays me, but uh, it's it, 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 it's uh, hard right. to pay so, the bills, you know. And then, uh, so uh, so the, the rest of my money is made through the wrecking yard. So, um, Mr. Hunt, and since I can see that in my system, since I can see that there is a case that has been registered under your name, you can note down your case ID number as well, okay? Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Feel, uh, your feel case ID. ID starts with the letter D like in Delta, C like in Charlie, 7010. It's DC yeah, yeah, yeah. 7010. Yeah, I got one. that. I got that. I got that. All right. And Mr. Hunt, before we proceed any further with your case, I have some quick questions for you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sir, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Well, as I told you, yeah, well, I have, I have a wrecking business here in West Virginia, so there, there's, there is uh, oftentimes that I need to go uh, out, of, out of state and I need to 
go into other states. Uh, okay, you know, I've been I, I got uh, through it. the years I and through the it. years, I've I've I've, okay. I've had this business for about 25 years. Been doing it for 25 years. I've been wrecking things for 25 years, uh, and through the years, I've had to go to oh goodness, probably 40 different states and uh, for different reasons right. and whatnot. So have, whether it be parts so, for the uh, for the wreckers or parts for the crusher or or even uh, delivering parts. Uh, some one so, time I had to go uh, all the way up to Washington to, State to uh, deliver a whole bunch of uh, uh, Cadillac converters. Yeah, they, they wanted to yes, uh, reduce uh, them can, down for the platinum yes. in them. You know they have platinum in them, right? Those kind of converters, Mr. they have platinum. Uh, uh, Mr. Hobbs, excuse me, please. But, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's get back later. Let's proceed with your case file, first of all, okay? So, oh, yeah, yeah. And so, Mr. Hunt, have you ever lost any of your personal documentation, such as your identity card, your driver's license, or your social security number, anything like that? Have you ever lost them? Well, I, I, I really can't be sure totally, because uh, there was one incident about a, a year and a half ago. Uh, that we, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we usually have uh, some dogs here at the at the yard uh, in the wrecking yard, but uh, this time they were in for for at, at the vet for, for for whatever reason. And uh, uh, one mm -hmm. of our uh, the the sheds down back that had some records, the wrecking wrecking yard records, uh, it got wrecked and somebody broke into it, and, and a whole bunch got uh, stuff got stolen. There was some uh, parts and there was some tools and there was uh, uh, there was a lot of stuff ransacked, and uh, I re we couldn't really uh, tell exactly what was taken uh, and what was left. Uh, but right. there was a lot of things. That, there could have been information on me. There could have been information on my, my company. There could be uh, there's lots of lots of lots of things. Uh, it's really hard to so track sure. down exactly do. what was. Uh, there was a police report file. Uh, you can look uh, mm -hmm. uh, look that up. I, I could probably look around here. Uh, most of those records are so uh, still uh, secure here in my office. Like, uh, so I could give you a case uh, file number for the, uh, the for the for the police report, uh, and you could correlate that with my story. Oh, if you, if yes, you, if sir. You we will get back. That. We will get back to that later. And so that might be the reason you have received this call from a department as of now. So yeah, we do well, believe, yeah. as I already told you, we think that somebody might be misusing your personal information. So let me go ahead and read out your legal text box. Back, but I before I do that, I want to notify you that these lines are well, being I federally told, recorded. I told him that, uh, sometime we will probably hear something about this because there's a lot of lot of papers. It seemed like they were right. looking for so, more for um, papers than they were for, for uh, valuable. Mr. Swan, without further ado, let us just proceed with the case file so as we can get to the bottom of this case at the earlier so as we can resolve this matter, okay? So let, let me go ahead and read out your legal cash file. So you're probably saying that my, my that company here, my, my wrecking company here in Bluefield, uh, West Virginia here, could be uh, at risk as well. Is that what you're saying? No, no, it's... Because it, 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 no, it was no, it's uh, information that was stolen from the, from the, the wrecking yard, uh, the records from the wrecking yard, then, uh, then it would be both me and, and my business. All right, so let me go ahead and read out your case file. But before I do that, sir, I want to notify you that these lines are being federally recorded and monitored by the Social Security Administration the Department of Justice and the local authorities of your state. So whatever you speak yeah, yeah. over this recorded life must be true and honest. And well, that, that's that's no problem. You, as I told you, as I told you, I'm an open book. My, my company is above board. We, we keep do everything uh, by, by the book, and I am an open book, as I said. All right, and sir, I personally request you uh, not to interrupt me while I'm providing you with any information. You really need to get and into all the finances. I can give you my, my the name of my, my, uh, my, my accountant. That's Elma Fisher, and she, no, she's... No. Uh, she's my accountant, oh, and no, she no. will uh, she will take care of any no, finances, no. Uh, any of the information with the finances, because I, I don't really no, follow no, no. all of that so, stuff. I, I just do the record. Yes, I get my hands dirty. Sir, I'm an owner that like, gets my hands dirty. Uh, I, yes, sir. So, uh, like, let me do my part first, and then I request you, like, not to interrupt me while I'm providing you with any information. And if you have any questions, I'm just now, assuring you that, I, that I am an open book, and I will cooperate with any federal or, or uh, <laughs> regional or <laughs> any kind of investigation. I, I, it don't matter your jurisdiction. I, I'll, I'll still cooperate. Um, so I, listen, Mr. Hunt, first of all, like, I will get back to that later. We can have this conversation later, so let's proceed with your case file, okay? Yes, 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 I did, because I need to get both back, uh, back. Uh, I need to get back to Crush, and I got uh, a whole whole yard full of uh, full of empty uh, uh, frames and bodies, and I need to crush into little cubes. <laughs> I love crushing them into little cubes. Then they go on the trailers, and they go and they get shipped out. All right, so, Mr. Michael, your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Do my social does it have something to do with my my, uh, my my wrecking business here in, in West Virginia? Uh, Mr. Hunt, like, please uh, let me speak first and then like you'll be given your chance to answer right, questions yeah, yeah. and right. play your doubt. Yeah, so right. much. So, your social investigation started under your name and under your personal social information.
situation when we recovered an abandoned car on the southern border of Texas, that is in Cameron County. The make and the model of the car was a 2009 silver Toyota Corolla with a vehicle registration number as the accurate through BRD. The car was lying idle on the street while the locals reported about it. You need me to and go we wreck found it? I'll go wreck it. I can go pick it up right and now. We is, found is that what you're asking? You need me to go wreck it? No, no. We found an abandoned car on the southern border oh, yes, of Texas. Yes, that's, that's how a lot so of my calls are. I need to go wreck them when they get abandoned. And the people don't uh, pick them up. They, then please, they come back to the yard. Please, and they sit here in the, complete first. You are they sit here in the, in the secure uh, gated yard for a while. Can, um, can you please allow allow me to speak first, okay? We're wasting and our sometimes time. Sometimes they go to auction. If they don't get sold at auction, then I can crush them. I'm part do your talking, please. I request you. This is I recorded line, sir. And everything that you're saying has been recorded. All right? So I need you to listen to me, first of all. Maybe please. We can damn near okay? crush anything. Please listen to me, first of all. Yes. After yeah. that, you'll be given your chance. Right? Thank you. I wasn't so even lying about the, the hot top of wheels. I didn't, that was kind of weird. I didn't know whether that was. Sir, weird. you're not listening. You're not listening. No, I'm listening. Do you I'm want listening. To I, got, I got an ear and I got a mouth. So I, got, I could use both of them. They're different parts to, of my head. Do you want to resolve? Yes, yes, I do. Of course. Yes, I told you I'm an open book. I'm an open book. I do. Allow me to speak. I will cooperate. That's why I know that. I know that. I know that. Please listen to me. All right? Yes, I'm listening. In that way, yes, we can yeah. help you. All right? Yes. Please, can you please stop talking for a while? Uh, I'm Let me listening. Let me do my first, and then, all right, thank you. Yeah. So, the Mac and the model of the car my, was my, a 2000, 2009 silver Toyota Corolla with a vehicle registration number as the Acre 2 BRV. The car was lying idle on the street while the locals reported about it, and we found some blood and drug residues inside the car. And hence, after the investigation, sir, we found out that the car was rented under your name and under your personal social information. And there were two addresses that were linked with the title of the vehicle. The first address are well, I'm up here at 50 uh, Edgewood Avenue in Bluefield, West Virginia. And the second address, that is 9860 Wentworth Street at Dallas Tech. Now, no, sir, are you familiar with that's any of the addresses that I mentioned right now? No, as I told you, I'm at uh, 50 Edgewood Avenue at Hunt's Record. All right. I own a record business here in West Virginia. Address, listen to me, first of all. So the yes, above yes. mentioned, if you don't listen, sir, how will how will you be able to understand your case file? So please, while I'm... Uh, well, well, I, I am listening. Out your case. I can assure you that I am listening. Okay. I have good ears. I have, uh, I have right. good ears. I can hear things Thank well. Uh, that, that's not the, so, <laughs> the part of me that's you, going in my uh, old age above, now. It's, uh, I still can hear things see, perfectly uh, fine. Let, let us proceed with the conversation later. Please allow yeah, me to finish my part. Well, I do need to get sir, back to I work request. here soon because I got I got some things to crush. So that's the reason, sir. You keep on talking and then you are not allowing me to speak. And then if that happens, that if that keeps on going, sir, how I'm are we going you know, to... He gets backed up sometimes and I don't have all that space to keep all, you know, for a long period of time. So I need I to crush them, get them out here. Put them on the trailer. Me, please, we load them up on the trailer so, with the, uh, with the forklifts, and then we, we, we ship them out. I, Sell it. Yes, I got it. All right? I understand that. So, sir, I need you to understand. All right? I need you to understand. Yes, if yes. you don't listen, how are you supposed to have a better insight about your case file? All right? So well, the I, as I said, I am listening. Sir, please, please be silent. You have to be silent to listen. Yes, yeah. uh, yes. And I am listening. Okay, I so, can assure you that I am listening. Please, I'm here to answer all of your questions, sir. We have wasted yes, yes. more than 15 minutes of this right, recording well, conversation. Does this have to do? Is this have to do with my, my social, or does it have to do with my my, my record business? An ongoing investigation. So please listen to me first of all. All right, it's can still you do that, sir? Mr. Hunt? Can you? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah. Thank you. So the above mentioned addresses were already suspicious and were raided by the U.S. Marshals and the State Rangers Division. But unfortunately, sir, there was no one inside the residence. That is 5 Liberty Street at San Antonio, and the second address that is 980 at Wentzwood Street in Dallas, Texas. So there was no one inside the residence. But what they have recovered was a consignment containing 22 pounds of cocaine, which we all know is an abusive okay. drug. And some documentation. Uh, there there was a time when, when I did, uh, there was some uh, uh, some uh, drugs left in an abandoned car uh, for, for one that I did wreck, but the police did come and get it. So, um, apart from that, sir, we have also recovered I didn't hear anything about it after that, though. So, sir, are you the one who is providing me with the information, or am I the one who is providing you with the information? Well, I'm trying to get, uh, tell you uh, uh, the information that I have, and I think well, it sir, might, might help with the uh, investigation. Interrupt me while I'm providing you with any information. And if you have any questions and doubts, you can just keep it with you for a moment, and then you'll be given your fair enough chance to speak. Well, I'm just, just giving me information to help your investigation. You're interrupting me, all right? Uh, you're breaking up because you're screaming so loud there, there, there boy. Uh, you need you're to uh, stop uh, getting uh, so uh, not, upset here. <laughs> it sounds like you're getting very frustrated, and uh, you need to calm down because I really can't even hear you. You're really breaking up because you're yelling so loud. You're not listening. That is the only reason I'm yelling. All right, you keep on talking and talking, sir. Do you want to resolve this case? Just tell me yes or no. Yeah, yes. I, I want to resolve it quickly, please. Please, please, 
cooperate with me. I'm trying my best, all right? All right, all right. Thank you. I don't need no interruptions as of now, sir. All right. So as I was telling you, we recovered, we found 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug. And we also recovered How many? some How many documentation. It's, it was 22. And sir, Tw 22. you will be given oh, your oh, chance to speak when I'm done. <laughs> that, that's not how much was in found, the car that I found. God damn, that's a lot of cocaine. Goodness again, gracious, that's, that's a, lot, a lot of money. You are starting again, Mr. Hunt. <laughs> you so, said 22 um, pounds cocaine. That, that's a big, that'd be on national news, you'd think. Yes, sir. So I'm providing you with the informations regarding to that. So, and apart from that, sir, we have also recovered paper documentation from various financial institutes, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, the U.S. Bank, the TD Bank, the Wells Fargo. Well, I bank with the Bank of America. Of that's, that's with my business banking, and that's what my personal bank is with. Yeah, anything else, I don't know about anything else. Locally and internationally. And most of this transaction has been done to the major narcotic countries like Mexico and Colombia. And apart from that, sir, we have also found that there are more than 20 active bank accounts that has been found under your name and under your registration through which the money laundering has been done, which totally seems suspicious to us. Is this, this, and that this is the under reason my name or is this under my, my record business here in Bluefield, West Virginia? ...against you, that is for drug trafficking as well as money laundering. Now, Mr. Hunt, let us know. Do you have any questions regarding this case and all these criminal activities that has been done under your name and under your personal social information? Please let me know. Well, well I mean, my, my, my record business here has liability insurance, so I, I have million dollar liability insurance, so uh, if it's under my, my business, then uh, so, uh, the, the insurance Hunt, take care of it, I don't even need to deal with it. Are you the activities? Answer me. A am I what? Are you the person who is currently dealing with all of the stuff that is going on with your social? Uh, if it's all uh, to do with my wrecking business, yes, I, I, I'm dealing with all of my wrecking business dealings. Uh, I have a wrecking business here in uh, Bluefield, West Virginia, you see. Uh, I have, a, I have first, a fleet full of wreckers that we, we can wreck not, damn near anything. First thing first, sir, we are not telling you, we are not accusing you, or we are not blaming you that you are the one who is doing all of these criminal activities, okay? No, I, I'm We're doing the, the business the under my, my company, uh, uh, Hunt's Wrecking, so, Hunt's Wrecking yes, LLC. Sir, I know that. Yes, sir. You, in, you need to know Virginia, anything about the finances. You need to talk to my accountant, Elmer Fisher. Bluefield, West Virginia. I know that your company is located here, but we're talking it, about yes, taxes. Yes. And then, sir, yeah, well, I have a fleet full so, of wreckers. I have ten wreckers. Sir, we go wrecking everything. I have a big one that I can even wreck, like uh, like large uh, other tractors. I can uh, uh, RVs, even the long ones. <laughs> Those long, big ones. I can wreck them too. I can wreck them near anything. One time, I wrecked a Cessna plane. <laughs> Some people don't even believe me, but I found it. We found it on the sir, highway. I know they must have had to do an Mr. emergency Hunt. landing or something, Wait, but we had to wreck it from there. You have to be silent in order for it, for you to listen. So do you want to resolve this case? If you want to do so, sir, please allow me to speak. I'm repeating the same thing again and again, but you're not listening, sir. Yeah, I don't know why you're please. repeating the same thing again and again. It seems kind of silly so, to me. <laughs> like, I'm listening to you and you keep repeating it, repeating it, and repeating it. I'm just like, uh, this, this guy must be okay? new or something. He's just new. That was the legal charges against your name. You're not cooperating. You're not listening. Are they against me or are they against my, my company, uh, Hunt's Record? It's you and against your company as well. Uh, right? uh, and against You're my company. Well, as I told, my company has a, has a liability insurance. See, I don't have nothing to do with your company, all right? I don't have nothing to do with your money. Since I'm just a verification officer, I'm providing you with the information that is... What, what are you verifying there, boy? So, listen <laughs> to me, all right, so that you can have a better insight about your case. It's for your own benefit. Better inside. Okay? It's for your own good. You have inside right? information? That, that's so illegal, boy. Inside, <laughs> inside trading, you know what I mean? That's, so, that's illegal. Listen, are you I don't, I don't want no inside information. Yes, no. You don't get me tracked up here. And caught up in that contact deal. Hang up this call. Hang up this call from you, and I don't want to talk to you. You're getting into my nerves, sir. You are not listening. Go to, to what, sir? talking and talking. I don't want to help you anymore. You, Get arrested. You're, you're I'll be trying to help the me? local police department. Dude, I, 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 yes, I'm, sir, I'm just so back. I'm just so back wrecking the things. I, I'll be out there. It's, it's, that's all right. So that's why, sir. Allow me to speak first of all. All right. So you can have a better insight about your case file. Okay, please. All right. Yeah, yeah. So as I was telling you, sir, we are not blaming you or telling you that you are the one who is doing all of these criminal activities. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just providing you with the information that is based on our it's investigation. It's definitely not me. As and in I that said, regard, I, I just own a record business in here in West Virginia. I don't do anything more criminal. Record, I'm an open me. book. I, I don't keep anything uh, hidden. I know that. I know that. You have mentioned that for the past hundred times. I know that. Well, I don't know. So, <laughs> it was about that much time. I'm uh, yeah, just I'm, providing I'm you with to, the information that is based on our investigation. And in that regard, sir, we have also checked your past record. And we have found that your banking conditions.
Ghanaians genuine and your social have no other issues in the past. And that is the only reason our department tried to reach you before you face any legal consequence. Now, at this point of time, sir, we think that your case might be a case of identity theft and that somebody yeah, might yeah. be misusing your personal information and has committed all these criminal activities under your yeah. name. So at this point of time, sir, Mr. Hunt, do you have any suspects or anybody who could do such thing to you? Well, I mean, uh, running a wrecking business, uh, I've had a number of employees and, uh, that have come and gone over the business. years. Answer to me. I'm not coming up, come and go, Hunt. so I've, I've had a number right. of disgruntled uh, employees that thought that they were entitled to more than they than they actually were. So, uh, you know, they, they, they've come back. They've right, actually, so uh, some have threatened case, me. Sir, have uh, some have threatened me physically. Like... Some have threatened me uh, over the uh, over the computer thingy there uh, on uh, the different, uh, 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 the facey thing. Uh, and, and yeah, so, I, I mean, I don't know who could be. I mean, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. All right, so and I, as I said, that, that, that the wrecking, wrecking uh, yard, uh, records have, and they got uh, all oh, messed up in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the breaking in of the, yes no. okay? the tool shed down so back. So at this point of time, so what we have to do too, for us to resolve your case, listen to me, sir. So what we have to do here... So there is a big long list of people that it possibly could be. People that are motivated to harm you. So in order for us to resolve this case, so as we can clear the name from this activity, sir. So at this point of time, we do believe, as I already told you, that somebody might be misusing your personal information. But the thing is, since your name and your personal information have been used, you are currently the prime suspect of this investigation, and your name is under federal investigation, and the federal courthouse attacks. Well, I, I haven't well been anywhere federally. Prison. I've been only here in the wrecking yard. And I haven't even gone out on a call in the last uh, <laughs> two days. I've been sending out uh, John out, out to do the calls that I need to do because I, we just got in a new crusher here uh, two weeks ago, and it's just been it's just been fun <laughs> crushing because it's, it's so much bigger now. We can crush Please, well, sir, five five cars listen. at the same time, and we could crush them all into a tiny keep, little cube. Your company, a tiny apart from cube. this, I don't, I don't need to know about your company, okay? I'm investigating you. I'm providing with you information so you don't have to straight sit answer. Just answer me in yes or no, well, Everything okay? about me so, is my company. I'm my cunt of Hunt's record. The, Bluefield, West Virginia, listen, 24701. Somebody call for a record? I know that. I know you have I mean, appeal you must to have, You must have seen my commercials, too. I, I have commercials. I have commercials on the TV, on the cable. Uh, so somebody call for a record. So, listen, There's a whole jingle with it. Yeah, it's it's really I good. I, I hired a company to, I, to do it up for me so that I could so I could put a little commercial uh, commercial on the TV too. Somebody call for a record. Somebody call for a record. So somebody call for a record. So you want to resolve my this case? Record. So call for a record. Somebody call for a record. Somebody call for a record. Mr. Michael Hunt. Hey, do yes, you want to so, resolve this case or not? Yes, yes of course. Yes, yes, yes. No. So this is your final call. I need you to stay silent, okay? Allow me to speak first, and then you'll be given your chance. Is that okay with you? Oh, Michael, yeah. with that? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm an open please, book, as I told please. you. I, I run an up and up business here. That. I keep everything on on board, uh, uh, legit. So you're an open book. Uh, cooperate please, with all federal, up, local leave. agencies, all, all right. law enforcement. Anybody, anybody needs uh, any information, I, I provide it to them. That 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 they, if they if they are entitled to it, that is, if they are tied to it, then I give it to them. If they're not, we got strict policy, uh, privacy policy here as well. All right. So what we have to do here is like, sir, since your existing social has already been found compromised for illegal activities in the state of Texas, and since the imposter or the culprit still have an access to all of your personal social information, they might be doing the same sort of fraudulent activities under your name in the near future as well. And you might get into some sort of troubles like the one that you are facing at this point of time. And well, since I'm in trouble? Is it me in trouble? Is it, can I be placing this under my, my company's You are in trouble. Trouble. You are in trouble. You, Michael Hunt, will be in trouble. So listen to me so as you can have, what am I in trouble you can have a better understanding about your case file. So what am I in since trouble the for? imposter or the culprit still have an access what? to somebody all of your personal me or somebody imposter my, my business. You might be doing the same sort of fortune activities under your name in the near future as well. And you might get into the same sort of troubles like the one that you are facing today. And since two persons cannot have an access to the same social security number at one point of time, so we will have to suspend your existing social security number right away and then we will be regenerating or reissuing a new social under your name within the next 24 to 48 working hours. That is by tomorrow, sir. Well, is this going to affect my, my business here in Bluefield? Social security administration and I have a record business here in Bluefield, West Virginia, and I can't have that anything that affecting that, that because that's, that's, a, that's a business that's here. I, I pay about six people's uh, wages. So shut up and listen to me. Well, I need to make sure these people get paid. So what, what, what do you they want have families to do too. At this point of time? They have things to pay too. What they got do you bills want too. To, what do you want 
Since you I have make sure they get paid before officer. I get paid. Some days, if, if it's a bad <laughs> month, then I make sure everybody gets paid before me. You are not listening. Do you want me? Do you want to resolve this matter, or do you want yes, us to proceed course, with yes, a legal Of course, as I told you, I'm an open book. I, I provide anything to law enforcement, to any uh, federal agency <laughs> that, that, that requires it. So much. Why do you have to keep on talking? <laughs> that's my business, <laughs> there, 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 boy. You... Uh, that's, that's that's how I was brought up. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm the youngest of uh, seven Please. seven brothers and three I, girls. I, 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 <laughs> So sister, so so I, you know, you have to get your words in edgewise. You have to, you have to learn how to get your, get yourself in there, no matter who talking or what, or what's going on. Or you're never going to be heard. You know, I'm never going to be heard if with that, that many brothers and sisters. You're never going to be heard. But grown ups at this point of. <laughs> You have to raise the social security Yes, department. this is Elma Fisher. You? How may I help you? Uh, yes, I'm returning a call, dear. Uh, hello? Yes, may I know which whom am I speaking with? Oh, uh, I opened uh, the conversation with that. It's Elma Fisher. How do you spell your first name, ma'am? Um, E-L-M-A, Elma, last name Fisher, F-I-S-H-E-R. And what's your name, dear? My name is Officer Linda Wilson. Linda Wilson. Again, Miss Alma, can you please verify me with your address so that I can confirm that I'm speaking with the right person or not? Where's my address? Well, yeah, it's uh, 50 Edgewood Avenue, Bluefield, West Virginia, 24701 is the zip code. 24701? 24701, yeah, correct. Okay, now in order to go ahead and pull out your case file, and I'm going to explain to you... Talking to, into a, uh, are you talking into a, a coffee mug or something? It sounds very echoey now. I'm sorry? Uh, y your, mu your, your voice became muffled for some reason. Hello? Yes. Yes, uh, it, it, I don't know if your microphone is being covered or something, but it, it's harder to hear you than at the beginning of the conversation. Hello? Yes. Yes. Well, I'm calling you from the social security number uh, department, there you go. okay? Yeah. And now, uh, in to order to go ahead and pull out your case file, can you please verify me with your social security number? Yes, it's 235 251015. Can you please re verify me again? Oh, my goodness. 235 251015. Mm -hmm. Did you get it that time? Did okay. You? And what is your date of birth? April 1st, 1959. How old are you? I'm 60 years old, dear. I turned 60 this past April. Okay. Okay, now just hold for a moment. Let me go ahead and pull out your case file, okay? Yes, yes, please do that. Are you still on the line? Uh, yes, I'm still here. Okay, now before I go ahead and explain to you further, I would like to notify you that the line on which we're having a conversation right now is being recorded and monitored by four major federal agencies. Number four one major. is the Department of Treasury, Jesse. Treasury. Number two is Internal Revenue Service. IRS. Number three yes. is Financial Crime Enforcement Network. Okay, the and Financial Crime. Number four crime. is Department of Navity. Department of what, sorry? Department of Navity. Of what? I said Department of Navity. I, I don't know what the Department of what. What, what word are you saying? How do you spell it? I, I can't make it out. You're muffled. So can you spell that, please? No, I need to spell it out. Yes, I want you to spell it out. Yes, because you're not speaking it properly. So please spell it out. Department of what? Narcotics. N a r c o t i c. N a r c o t i c. Mm -hmm. Department of Narcotics? Yeah. What the hell is that? So in this recording line, you have to be honest in this recording line because because this recording line are going to play inside a courthouse in evidence of you. So please make sure that whatever you speak in this recording line, you must speak the truth and you have to be honest, okay? All right. Well, do you swear to God that you will be honest as well? And now... Uh, excuse me, Linda, Linda, further. Linda, mm -hmm. uh, do you swear to God that you will be honest as well? Linda, I guess she can't swear to God for that. Well, there it is, folks. That's it for another Friday night premiere. Thank you all so much for stopping by. As always, if you liked it, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next one, Boda out. Boda. Oh, <laughs> we don't know who is the culprit. Once I remove the virus, your computer will run faster.
You have been invaded by Oda. <laughs> 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 